much. So back here in North Carolina, Carolina fans packed the Spectrum Center in Charlotte to watch their heels take on Wagner College and they were not disappointed. That's right. Kevin Kennedy joins us live in Charlotte where the Tar Heels earned their first round win. Kevin, pretty exciting. Hey guys, good afternoon from Charlotte where the North Carolina Tar Heels certainly took care of business as expected. Win and advance. It was expected as we talked about a number one seed taking on a number 16 seed and it basically was a home game for North Carolina. They played their home games just down the road in Chapel Hill. So obviously being here at the Spectrum Center just about two hours away, not surprising. The stands were packed with a lot of North Carolina blue. Now, while this wasn't a we just beat Duke kind of win or excitement level, anytime you win an NCAA tournament game, it's a big win and the fans were certainly pumped. It was super fun to come down here and watch and I got to see my mom and just like being, it kind of almost felt like a home game even though we're down in Charlotte, so it was super special. I thought that we did great. I mean, as a mom, is always nervous, you know, nerve-wracking to watch it. You know, coming in, you have no clue. Um, uh, Elliot has friends on the uh, opposing team that we played. In high school, he actually had a guy that he played with in high school. We knew they were good. We know the coach, Copeland, is a really good coach. But, you know, we did what we had to do today. Yeah, what a game it was. I'll tell you, UNC fans certainly excited. Now, Saturday going to be a little bit tougher instead of a 16 seed. They face an eight seed, but expect the, pack, the, the Spectrum Center to once again be packed with a lot of Carolina fans. We're live in Charlotte. I'm Kevin Kennedy, WFMY News 2.